So today I'm making chicken, a whole chicken in the crock pot. Now to season this, I will um, use a blend of dry seasonings and spices. In the center I have around two and a half to three teaspoons of salt. Here I have two teaspoons of smoked paprika, or I'm sorry, one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Here I have two teaspoons of granulated garlic powder, two teaspoons of granulated onion powder, here one teaspoon of dried thyme, salt-free lemon pepper, this is two teaspoons, and one teaspoon of regular paprika. And all I'm going to do is give this a mix, and I'm just going to coat and season the chicken with this. I might not use all of this. This is just something that I uh, put together so I can season the chicken. You can season your chicken how you prefer. Uh, Store-bought rubs are really good. Sometimes I use uh, pre-packaged seasonings. It all works. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so I have it flipped over on the back side and I'm going to just season this side first. With my dry seasoning. I've already tucked the wings back. Um, you don't have to do that. If it's going in a crock pot, it'll keep itself together. Okay, so you want to grab this and place it right into your crock pot. There we go. Snug in my crock pot. So I'm going to wash my hands and then with a clean hand, I'm going to season the, uh, the uh, top side of this. Okay, clean hands. So now I'm going to um, season the top here. You'll want to cook this breast side up. And actually, if you get a chance, put some in the cavity as well of the chicken. Season your chicken well. You definitely can add a layer of vegetables, potatoes, carrots, celery to the bottom of the crock pot. I'm just going for the chicken. I'm going to be making probably pasta or maybe rice for the side. Anyway, so chicken is seasoned, you'll want to cover with your lid. And then I'm cooking this on high. And it's going to take about four and a half to five hours. This is a five and a half pound uh, chicken. If you're doing something a bit larger, you will need a, a larger crock pot, maybe like an eight quart. This is, a, I think, a six quart. And it's going to have to cook a lot longer. If you're doing this on low, it's somewhere between six to eight for larger chickens. It could go up to 12. Um, but this is a pretty average size five pound chicken. So um, I'm going to go for about four and a half to five hours. Okay, so I wanted to mention something. If you are looking for that crispy snap to the skin, then you just want to roast your chicken in the oven. That's not what this um, crock pot whole chicken is going to give you. So you could remove it from the crock pot and put it in the broiler to get a little bit of browning and coloring to the skin, but you're not gonna get that crispy skin that you would get if you use the oven. So if that's what you're looking for, then you might wanna skip this recipe and just roast the chicken. But this is just a very convenient way. If you have a thawed whole chicken, you just wanna cook it, you don't wanna fuss over the stove, or if it's too hot outside, you don't wanna turn on the stove, and you wanna cook chicken, just put it in the crock pot. So anyways, my chicken's almost ready, so I'm gonna remove it and let it rest. Ooh. Okay. So here's the chicken. And you can already tell it's super tender, falling apart. So instead of removing it, I'm probably just gonna let it hang out here. <laughs> um, I'm just going to serve it with steamed rice and veggies, but like I said, there's so many things you could serve. You could shred this apart in the crock pot, remove some of the rendered fat and liquid, um, and make tacos out of this. So many things you can do. But anyways, it smells amazing. You see how the skin kind of got stuck? So if you are going to remove it from the crock pot, you want to be very careful because it is fall apart tender. And you can definitely drain or scoop out, you can definitely scoop out or pour out all of the rendered juices and fat and uh, you know make some sort of a 
gravy with it. I said I wasn't gonna remove the chicken, but I did, and I had to do it so carefully. I didn't even film it, but here it is. And the wings actually fell off. That's how tender and fall apart this chicken is. I mean, the meat is just falling off the bones. So this is why I tell you, if you truly want to uh, get crispy skin, your best bet is just to roast it in the oven because when you remove it, it falls apart. So I did a pretty good job, I would say. Uh, removing it from the crock pot and I can totally put this under a broiler to get some crispy browning but I I'm not gonna do that this looks great it's seasoned great it's tender it'll do I hope you give this recipe a try I hope you like it and thanks for watching